planet Earth, the city Tokyo. Like all cities on the face of this planet, Tokyo is losing the battle against man's deadliest enemies, waste and pollution. Despite the efforts of local and world government, the air, the sea and the land may soon lose their ability to support life of any kind. Who will help? Spectre Man. Occupying a tiny corner of the vastness of the universe is our own galaxy, the Milky Way. In an even tinier corner of the Milky Way is the solar system of which our planet Earth is a part. Only now is man beginning to take his first hesitant steps outward. One of the most successful of those steps is the Apollo program, which put man on the moon. For the first time, man reached the Earth's satellite and brought back proof of his journey. In a continuing effort to learn more about our universe, America reactivated the Apollo program. And even now, astronauts are walking on the moon's surface, gathering scientific information for the betterment of mankind. The astronauts report the discovery of a strange iridescent purple stone, not unlike others previously encountered in lunar exploration. Scientists of all nations eagerly await the opportunity to analyze the contents of the stone. Speculation is rampant that the luminosity indicates a latent degree of radioactivity, or at least the existence of an energy source, which would indicate that the moon may have hosted visitors from outer space. The discovery of extraterrestrial life haunts the imaginations of intelligent men and women who strongly suspect that the boundless reaches of space contain other beings. Previous samples of the stone have defied analysis, so it is hoped that this larger sample will yield new information. Interlopers! Uh -oh. When will these earthlings realize that it is I, Gori, yes. who will rule this universe and not them? That's right. Only I have the right to explore this solar system. That's right. Only and they will learn from the earthlings that I will not tolerate their meddling. Not for a minute. Get out to them! Yeah. Uh, Houston Control, Apollo calling, following schedule flight plan. Uh, Houston Control, hurry back. And the Manned Space Center reports the three astronauts have left the moon orbit and begun their journey back to Earth with the Moonstone. Uh, couldn't a thing like that pollute the Earth? I mean, the stone that they're discussing. Hmm. Yes, but it's been thoroughly tested. Huh. And what were the results of the tests? Well, they say they found some organic elements in it. You mean some kind of life? It's a little too early to know that. Anyway, I've sent George up to the space lab to find out anything he can. You sent George? Yeah. Oh, good. Its contents? Well, along with nickel, manganese, and other trace elements usual in rock, we also discovered a small degree of calcium. Calcium. Of the sort they find in animal life. Yes, there's no way to know just how much of the calcium attached itself, that is since coming to Earth. Contamination, that is. The world scientists are all running the same tests. Researchers in New York, others in London, are all examining it. We'll soon know. If their results correlate with ours, we'll have to admit, in spite of our moon exploration, that there may be some form of life on the moon. Would you say that that type of animal life would be unlike any? You want an opinion? Yes. Well, it would have to be immensely powerful to survive in its environment. Uh, Apollo, this is Houston Control. Both you boys are asking. We got some exercise plans for you soon. How do you feel, Matt? Fine, thank you. Are you okay?
Hello, Tommy. Oh, look at that. Huh? I was only kidding. <laughs> There's nothing going on out there. <laughs> you didn't happen to see anyone alive out there, did you? Well, what do you mean, George? Oh, like moon creatures, you know. What's up there? <laughs> You're really a tease. You're putting me on. I suppose it's all full of green cheese and rye, or a cow ran away with a dish, or it's all full of devils and fiends. You think you know it all. Well, I'm going to say the moon is airless. Animals don't breathe without air. Or water, and the moon hasn't got any. And what makes all young scientists think breathing air and water are necessary? It just is, that's all. Now, I'm sure you're fooling. Gosh, George. Okay, let me have a look. Suppose there is something alive up there. <laughs> I think you're kind of nuts. Well, come to think of it, there was something alive up there. The Apollo astronauts. But they're on their way down to Earth again. And they're bringing another moonstone. Yeah. <clears throat> Doctor, we have that funny little spaceship in range. Yes. Uh, we'll wait, wait until we can't, can't miss. miss. Okay. Apollo calling Houston. Everything's fine up here for re-entry at 6.42. The Earthlings will learn that the universe is the exclusive estate of Dr. Gorey. And now they will die. Look, over there. Why, it's some interfering monster. Quickly, kill it! What the hell of a you suppose that was? What in the world was that? <laughs> oh, oh! Houston Control! Apollo calling! Apollo calling! Oh! Oh, this is Houston Control. Do you read me? Apollo! Apollo! Houston Control! Houston Control, this is Apollo. Uh, Houston! They don't answer! Uh, hey, Captain! That thing's still behind us! You get us out of here! You can't start me entry at this speed. It's suicide. I've got you. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. We're going to crash right in that flying beast. <laughs> Captain, you can't start re-entry at this angle. I can't help that. With that thing on our tail, it's our only way out. Don't worry yet. I don't think it knows where the master's of the universe. 
And it doesn't look like it's in the mood to negotiate. It's just a monster. It won't tangle with us. No, but just to be on the safe side, can't we retreat to another no. galaxy? I knew you'd say that. Oh, Daddy said there'd be days like this. Oh. Uh, it be away. way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I knew it all along. Everyone is afraid of the great Dr. Gorey. Uh, uh, doctor, don't you think we should use the death ray? No, not yet. Oh, why not? This creature has great destructive power and mobility. Given a chance, it may destroy the Earth without our interference. All right, on. <laughs> I think I'd better go talk to the professor. Oh, gee, you mean the man has been experimenting with moon rocks? You're right. Oh, that'd be the greatest. I'd give a lot to see that. Okay, go. Oh, would you look at that? That's it. Oh, Doctor. Ah, back again, George. What can I do for you? A question. You heard about losing Apollo. Yes, on the television. You think it's possible it was another spacecraft? Uh, well, it's difficult to be precise with so little data, but I will tell you that I don't believe it was a spaceship from this planet. I bet. George, we've been looking everywhere. Yeah, where in the devil have you been anyway? I'd say you're in it real deep with a boss. Professor, come here quick. Uh-oh, let's go. That red object flashes by, and the moonstone starts pulsating light. There must be a connection. Maybe that could explain the missing Apollo species. Wow, I never saw anything that fast. Yes, even a comet doesn't move like that. What do you think it was, Doctor? It's here to get the moonstone. That's the answer. Say that again? Come on, George, you're putting this on. You've got moon magnets. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> SOS, SOS, this is the HMS Titania. We have been struck by an immense object from the sky. We are on fire and sinking rapidly. Request immediate assistance. SOS.
look up at the horizon. I'm a little What a monster. Yeah. I never realized such a thing existed. Mm. It's a vast universe. It certainly is. Go on. Destroy the city. Obviously heading east. New York, perhaps. Oh, New York. We will follow him, Carlos. Oh, certainly well. Yes. We've just received this news bulletin. America has suffered another disaster in San Francisco. The Golden Gate Bridge has been completely destroyed. It's reported that an enormous beast rose out of the sea and ripped the bridge apart. Tommy, I know where that thing's headed. Where? The Moonstone in New York. Come back! Overlord, listen, transform me. Request granted, Spectre Man. Transform immediately. Ready. Come back, George. Hey, George. Spectre Man's here. Tell me this, sir. You tell me there isn't anything alive out there. It just is logical. Some of them science is a little too skeptical, Tommy. There are millions of living things in the universe. This is Walter Whitehead reporting from New York. I'm looking down on something I've never seen before, a deserted city. Deserted except for one terrible creature who is abusing it like an evil child abuses a dollhouse. Get him, Spectre Man. Then finish your destruction. You will prepare the Earth for my coming. The 
but the body is armored shell. only after the stone. I was just an obstacle. What value does the stone have for that monster? Will Gory triumph at last? Watch the next exciting episode of Spectre Man. Spectre Man!